well, what brings you to Stockholm? I would like to come here and also see what other UN water communicators are doing, mm -hmm. and also people in the field, uh, and how they're experiencing communications, what kind of tools they are using. Are they also uh, blogging, for instance, or using Facebook platforms, Yahoo groups, LinkedIn groups, to kind of get their message across. Um, I remember at the World Water Forum, as I was talking to Mark Charmer uh, from Agvo, um, and he also said, you know, this is really the new way to communicate because it's much faster paced in this society, but also because, um, you know, it's more interesting to actually see someone talk in a very normal, kind of uh, very natural fashion. Um, more so than you know, reading those big reports that you see lying around in the conference, even in this conference hall. Mm -hmm. um, so in what way can we stimulate and engage people in a different way so they feel more um, attached and interested in the subject? Because as you know, you know scientific um, studies, research, it's very complicated to kind of bridge the gap between science and society in that sense. So I think... Um, communicating your message, mm -hmm. uh, but using simple tools that are so easily accessible to so many people in the world would definitely make a difference in, in uh, being able to, to share also knowledge, experiences. Um, for instance, the Water Channel, yeah. there are so many films and um, kind of uh, instructional videos on how to irrigate or how to build sand dams in a way you know, that is very kind of uh, local using very local products and um, not so costly for instance something in a very kind of local setting based also on their needs and I think that's really what makes a difference and if you can share that kind of information to you know media professionals but also to donors or other people who are interested I think that would that would just shed so much of a different light um, to all these activities yeah so I am definitely in favor of, of being able to to communicate in such a in such a way. What's your take on the water cube? Well, I think this is an excellent uh, platform for people to kind of talk with each other um, on how they what what they want to bring to not just Stockholm but basically to share with people around the world. Because mm -hmm. when you post this online, people can actually you know see different people talk about different things with different perspectives and I think that's really what matters and it's just more difficult I think to convince people when you don't have information like this um, kind of in a digital format so it's, it's just a, a nice a very nice kind of solution mm -hmm. to kind of um, to sharing what's happening here um, very lively so yeah. uh, just for the record can you put the badge up please Oh, yes, of course. <laughs> Thank you. Thanks for the interview and Thank all you. the best. <laughs> you too.